I'd like just to give you uh, five points that we in the Commission are going to take back home. Sorry, four points. The first point uh, is that really the cultural value of fisheries is an asset but needs to evolve. And this is what we've heard uh, all along during the discussions. A uh, long history of living in the coast, people are now uh, confronted with far-reaching socioeconomic changes, decreasing resource, reduction of the fleet. And what local development, what uh, Access 4 is about, is precisely to support these major changes at the local community level. The second uh, uh, point is uh, that basically, of course, diversification is about to reduce, reducing the dependency on the single sector, uh, and therefore the associated fragility to that. And it's about the long-term stability, uh, stability and sustainability of the lo local economy. And all along we've heard about two forms or two types of diversification that people are striving to, to, to develop. On the one hand, it's diversification of the revenues of the fishermen, uh, sometimes called the blurry activity, like in rural development areas. On the other hand, it's the broader diversification of the whole area by developing new activities, creating investment, new investments and, and creating jobs. The third element um, is clearly a strong message that diversification requires the involvement of people from outside the fishing community, meaning from the whole uh, local uh, community. And uh, what is needed was clearly spelled out. One, ideas and vision. Second, expertise and skills. And third, finances. And more precisely, um, diversification requires a broad coverage in terms of actors, in terms of stakeholders, and the flags are precisely the platform to do that or to start doing that. And fishermen, and indeed, uh, diversification is not only a source of additional income for them, but it's an opportunity to raise awareness about their activity, about the marine environment, to show the proud that they have in their business, and to change people's perception of their own uh, activity and sector. And another point which was striking is that the knowledge of the fishermen or the workers of the sea, uh, their skills, their experience, is a great asset that can form the basis of new maritime activities. In the area of marine litter collection, we've heard about monitoring, about data collection. Uh, about conservation, about combating pollution. The fourth point, uh, and this was already mentioned several times, there is no straight copy-paste of a success story. Diversification is very rooted in local conditions and local potential. There was an obvious example with pescatorism, but it goes beyond that. So really, uh, the source of all uh, diversification strategy and objective is rooting it uh, into the local e economy strength and weaknesses. Now, a few words about the future. Local development and diversification in particular will be a major strength of the next programming period starting 2014. We need to convince decision makers uh, to support it and strengthen it after 2013. And here I just want to um, confirm what Paul has already said. Uh, we need concrete results. We need sustainable results. We need sustainable impacts. There is not much time left, but it is doable, and we've seen all the energy that is around. So, um, to invite you to Brussels uh, uh, again uh, on the 3rd and 4th November, this conference will not only uh, showcase uh, 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 results, we hope, but also uh, uh, give the occasions of, uh, to policymakers uh, to express their vision uh, for the future.
With this, uh, I'm uh, very happy to have been uh, attending this uh, conference and uh, wish you uh, all the best and all successes in your, in your enterprises. Thank you very much.